This video will go over how to set up the new trajectory-based scripted uh, aerobatics uh, using the Real Flight Simulator. It assumes you've already set up the Addiction 3D model in Real Flight and can operate it. Uh, the Addiction 3D model is available here as well as its parameters. The scripts that you'll need are located here and place them in your documents directory for Mission Planner under the SIDL Flight Access Scripts directory. So here we go with a working real flight simulation using the addiction. And now we're going to enable the scripting. So we set scripting enable to one, write the parameter refresh the parameters and now we will have to set up two other scripting parameters this heap size needs to be increased from defaults and the machine counts the number of consecutive machine cycles the script can do so the addiction parameter set already has those so just uh, uh, reload those using the compare function and now you've got 400,000 for the heap and 200,000 for the instructions. Uh, now we will go over and uh, reboot the simulation so that we get those values running. And I have to reconnect to the real flight simulation. So then the next thing that we'll have to do, you can see we have some of the script parameters, arrow M parameters there. So um, the next thing we need to do is enable the tricks for tricks on a switch. And we'll also need to set up the switches that actually uh, control all those. So you see now we've got the aerobatics trips, tricks uh, selected, but we still need to set up the activation switch and the selection switches. So we can go over to um, the user parameters. There we go. And now on my transmitter, the interlink transmitter, RC6 is a sw three position switch. I'll set it as the three position activation switch. And RC9 is the knob uh, on my uh, transmitter emulator. And I'll set it to scripting channel two, which is 301 for the trick selection. Now, once that done, if I, is done, I have to reboot this uh, the autopilot in order to be able to uh, see all the to get those RC switches before I do that though I'm going to go ahead and set up the tricks the default tricks that provide three one two and three um, but what we're going to do is use that airso trick in that uh, trick 72.txt uh, file so we're going to set up trick one ID as 72 here. It doesn't take any parameters since it's a, a schedule. And write that. Now we'll reboot the autopilot so that we can get those RC channels that we set up to be operational. There we go. Have to reconnect again. Okay, so now everything is set up, and I should be able to um, you see uh, the various tricks, and that uh, one was the air show, two was the loop, and three was uh, the rectangular, uh, so horizontal rectangle. So at this point now, we'll arm the vehicle.
advance the throttle and it takes off an acro. I'll switch to fly by wire A and then I'll activate trick one, which is the air show schedule. The first maneuver is a little loop. followed by a half reverse Cuban 8. And I'll let you read them as they come up. I'll go through the entire air show. A scale figure 8 is a figure 8 with round circles instead of oblong circles. And one of the more difficult aerobatic maneuvers, a rolling circle. You can see as it rolls to the knife edge, the rudder kicks in to maintain the altitude. Humpty bump, straight up, roll, split S back down to a vertical segment and then back out on the bottom. So you can do eat any one of these tricks individually as a trick on a switch. In addition, you can do either the schedules or the tricks as a mission item under NAV script time. So you can do it in an auto mission. Barrel roll is a really nice maneuver. It's a very large always positive G uh, corkscrew. You can see it on the ground track. It's truly a corkscrew. And then the sequence will finish up with a procedure turn just to bring it back into aerobatic frame. So that's finished the trick, which was a schedule of the Super Air Show. Now what we'll do is stop the simulation, force a disarm, and disconnect. Now we'll go look <coughs> with a tool uh, that allows us to see just how precisely the airbags were done. It's called plot3d.argypilot.org. It's a web-based tool. So you load the bin log file, so click on that. In Mission Planner, SIDL Flight Axis is a logs directory. We'll pick up that last log file of our last flight. It hadn't fully loaded at that point. Try again, there it is, now it's got size. Okay, and it presents in a 3D viewer of the aerobatics portion because when we're doing tricks on, uh, when we're doing scripted tricks, we put out scripted log messages of the 
desired path and the actual realized path. And they can be visualized with this tool. You see the entire air show sequence, so the cubinates, the Humpty Dumps, the loops, the corkscrew barrel roll, and you can even uh, you can look at it from every perspective by rotating things around with the mouse, uh, just as you can in most 3D viewers. And then there's this little play button right here that you can actually see a little uh, aircraft model doing uh, what the log said it did. As you can see, they're very precise trajectories. And with a well-tuned actual model, you'll be able to do this also. It's always best in the, to work out new sequences and routines and their placement in the simulator. So enjoy.